Hi guys, this is Maggie with the blog WilsonHumpton.com and today I'm going to be sharing a women's clothing haul. These are all clothes that I've recently bought for myself or that people have given to me or you know whatever especially since I just had a baby and I'm in kind of a I guess you could say awkward postpartum period where I'm not fitting into my old clothes I also don't fit into my pregnancy clothes so I have been looking for a few extra pieces just so that I can feel comfortable in this short little period in between having a baby and kind of getting back to my pre-pregnancy weight. It's nice to have things that just make you feel like you look beautiful and that you feel good when you're wearing. So I'm really excited about all these pieces and I can't wait to show you guys. I have my pile of clothes right here that I'm going to show you. Um, but the first thing is actually this dress that I'm wearing right now. This is a muslin dress. So normally this is the material that I have all my baby swaddles in and it is absolutely just the most wonderful soft material and it's like the best thing ever for a dress. It's actually quite nice and long and normally it's kind of hard for me to find dresses that are long enough but this comes down to like almost to my ankles. It's kind of at the bottom of my calves. So that is like a really good length. It's long enough that I don't feel like uncomfortable or immodest showing too much leg, <laughs> but it's not so long that it's going to be dragging on the ground and getting dirty. So this is super cool. This is kind of, you can kind of adjust this. So it's really nice if I need to pull down a side for breastfeeding. So I love this dress so much that I will probably just be living in it all the time. <laughs> Here is the next dress. This is one that I got from a thrift shop. It's a little short. I'll probably have to wear this with leggings, but I just really love the color and this floral pattern is just really pretty. So this actually currently doesn't fit me, but this is gonna look really pretty next summer when I've lost all my baby weight and wearing clothes like this again. So I am excited about that. Here is this is kind of a long shirt. This one my mom gave me. She was downsizing some of her wardrobe and so she let me go through and pick out any stuff I wanted. And I really like this shirt. It has this like triangle on the chest. That's really flattering and the pattern is pretty cool. It's just really nice green color and it's nice and long. So I really like this one. Obviously I will either wear this with leggings or jeans. This is not a dress by any means. I guess if I was short enough, it could be a dress, but being 6'1", a lot of things that are supposed to be dresses are just shirts on me. Here's a really flattering tank top that I got from a thrift shop. Oh, it's inside out because I wore it yesterday. <laughs> so it's this really pretty dusty pink color. I'm not normally a pink girl, but if I find something that's just a dusty pink, not like loud pink, like really pink pink, <laughs> I actually really like this shade of pink. So it's just this like flowy tank top and it surprisingly is long enough. It looks like it wouldn't be, but I think the shoulder straps are just long enough. But I really like this crisscross design on the chest. It's just really flattering and it doesn't show too much. So I really like this tank top. And because it's loose, it doesn't show off my um, hooch. Here is a really cool dress. This is a little short, so I think I would wear this with leggings, possibly without. It just depends on you know how confident I'm feeling about my legs at that point. But it has these adjustable straps. Put through these things in the back and then tie it, I guess. I don't know. Like this. And I guess you could like cross them in the back too. That would look cool. So, and the back kind of comes down pretty far, but you can like you can see, which I think is a really flattering style. And this is like a really cool like linen material. I love linen or muslin dresses. Those are absolutely my favorite. Here is one of my favorites. I have been living in this thing lately. This is a nice long button up shirt. It has kind of like frayed edges that look like, I don't know, just kind of cool. The sleeves aren't long enough for me, but it's also the style of shirt that you, you just wear them like rolled up kind of like 
to here and I really like that. And just for breastfeeding right now, it's just really easy to undo the top two buttons and pull it over. And it's long and loose enough that I feel like really comfortable wearing it. I really like wearing this one with some yoga pants because it's just long enough to cover my bottom. Here is one of my favorites too. These are some linen overalls. It's kind of like a, whatever those are called, like a romper, maybe not a romper, but you can see it's not a dress, it has legs, but it's just like really loose and comfortable and it's this nice linen material. It has adjustable straps because they just tie, but this is just so comfy and the legs are like huge. So it's like so baggy and just comfy and I can just put a nice like tank top under it or even just wear a bra if it comes down low enough. I really like this thing. I didn't think I would be like a bumper or jumpsuit type of girl, but I actually really enjoy it. Here's a couple things I got from the last Irie Collection drop. If you've seen my Irie Collection review video, they sell handmade bras and underwear that are sustainably and ethically sourced and hand dyed and just super cool. So I got some cheeky briefs. I've been wanting to try these. They're a little bit tight on me, but I am losing weight pretty fast, so I'll be able to fit into them pretty soon. But just from their pictures, these are really flattering. And they're not just like regular underwear, like they're they're very short shorts. So I wouldn't ever wear these out, but these would be something really comfortable to wear around the house instead of just underwear. <laughs> A little bit more, you know, acceptable to just wear around the kids. And they're like super soft and stretchy and this pretty like tie-dye green material. And then the other thing I got was this halter top. So right now I have just been wearing this as a bra more, but once once I lose some weight and my boobs aren't so big for breastfeeding, this will come down a little lower onto my stomach. And I, I would wear this under like some overalls or something like that. I think this is really pretty. And I love how it looks like tie-dye. They're All their pieces are just so cool colored because they hand dye them. I just really love the Irie collection. So that those have been really fun. I also got this new bathing suit. I haven't had a bathing suit in years. I normally would just wear a, a tank top that's kind of a workout shirt material and some shorts, but there's this company that's based in Missoula. It's really close to us. It's a Montana company and all these swimsuits are handmade and these are so comfortable. I It's hard for me to not just wear them as like a bra and underwear because I really like them so much. So here's the top and this is a really flattering how it has a knot in the middle. I just really love this and it's the like slippery like swimsuit material. So this top is definitely my favorite, one of my favorites. <laughs> and then just the bikini bottoms. So it's been fun to have a, like an actual swimsuit again because I haven't in forever. And I will link that company that I got those from and also the Irie collection. Any things that I have links for that I bought new or a company sent me or anything, I will put links for you guys. But a lot of the stuff is from thrift stores, so obviously I don't have a link for those. Here is just a basic long sleeve shirt. You can see I really like brown and mustard orange. Obviously these most of these things are those. <laughs> I'm just realizing. So it's kind of this brown mustard orange, mustard yellow color, stripes, and then it has this, this material on the shoulders. And then it has a knot in the front on the bottom. So this is just something that's like loose and long and it's not like tight form fitting to make me feel uncomfortable when I have a pooch still. Okay, now this is an item that I splurged on a little bit. It's a rope, the, the string, the tie came out because I just washed it. But I splurged on this rope a little bit for postpartum. <laughs> I wanted something really comfy opened in the front that I could wear to bed that was long enough and close to the front enough that would still be modest for people to come over to see the baby. And this was literally the most perfect thing that I ever. When Demi was born, I actually confiscated all of Luke's big, huge flannel button-up shirts and he ended up being kind of irritated with me that he never had shirts to wear. So Luke said I could splurge on a robe for this time and I haven't had to use his shirts, so <laughs> it's been nice. But it's this mustard yellow color, 
pretty long and it is this it's like a muslin material like my like my dress and it's so comfortable and warm and I love this thing. I will link where I got this. It's from Parachute. If you want to splurge on a robe, this is the one I recommend <laughs> by far. Okay, and then I got one more tank top from a thrift store. It's a little on the short side, but if I wore like a high rise, like mom jeans, or even if I wore overalls, it would be just fine. But it's this kind of cool um, pattern along the front. Just kind of a plain t-shirt, but I like this one. And then the last thing I'm a little disappointed in because when I put this in my cart, I put it in my cart as an extra large. I guess with this company, if they go out of stock of something, they just change the size that's in your cart and don't like take it out of your cart, which is super annoying. So they sent me an extra small sweater and it is so short. Like this is so not gonna fit me. It would like show two inches above my belly button and the arms are not long enough. And especially once I wash it, it's gonna shrink. So I'm really kind of irritated about this one. So I'm gonna see if they'll pay for shipping to send it back that or I'll list it on my thrifted Etsy shop and try to get a little bit of money back for it. So if you guys wear an extra small, keep an eye out on my thrifted Etsy shop. I might list this on there and you guys can snag it because it really is a beautiful sweater. It feels really thick and warm and it's this really pretty dusty pink color. I really wish it fit me because it's so pretty and I love just big oversized knitted sweaters like this. So I'll have to try again. So yeah, that is my thrifted and kind of sustainable organic clothing haul. Again, most of those things I got from a thrift shop or company sent me, or I did splurge on a few items because I've been trying to transition my border over to more organic and sustainably sourced things. So I'll either try to find things at a thrift shop and if I can't find them there, I will splurge a little bit and buy them new from a company that I really like trying to vote with my dollar <laughs> and just you know invest in things that will last a long time and that I really like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.